Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to talk about a new tarot deck that has just been published that is really quite unique. That is the Essential Tarot by Pablo Mont. And this has just been published by Los Garabeo. And this really is quite a unique deck for a couple of reasons. It's a minimalist type of deck where the image of the cards have been basically stripped back to the symbolism. And it's also an unusual type of deck because the colouring of the background images are based on the colours of the chakra system. So here is the box and it has the Vesica Pisces symbol on the cover. And I'm going to show some of the cards in a moment. Here is the back of the cards. It has a small Vesica Pisces on here in the middle of the card. It has a grey background, light grey, with a rainbow tone. It's kind of like stained glass windows. And there's a Vesica Pisces on the back of each card, like on the box. Now what is happening with the chakra system with this card, with the colouring, is the major arcana cards, um, the fool card being zero is, is a separate type of card but all of the major arcana from 1 to 21 have the go into the order of the colours of the chakra system so that the major arcana being 21 cards from numbered from the magician to the world card it means that the colours of the chakra system are going to be repeated three times with the full card being a separate card, the zero card, as I was saying. And then with the remaining 56 cards of the suits, each of the suits have, each of the four suits have 14 cards. So that means that the chakra system of the seven colors is going to be repeated twice. So, 2 times 7 being 14 for each of the suits and you have 3 times 7 being the 21 of the major arcana cards. So I, I really like this but I actually did not buy this deck for that reason. I want to use this for Kabbalah. So it's the type of deck that you could use to concentrate on the symbolism which I think is really important for tarot reading. And you can also use it for Kabbalah, which I want to use it for. But for other people, they would want to use it for chakra readings. And there is a chakra spread in the Little White Book. And the Little White Book uh, has upright meanings. And for the Major Arcana cards, it does explain the symbols on the cards, but it doesn't explain the symbols for the minor arcana. And I can understand that because it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, so for the major arcana, the symbols are described and there are meanings for all of the cards. And with the um, minor arcana, um, especially the numbered cards, are kind of inspired by some of the titles of the Toth deck. So before people start to think, oh, this is a Toth deck, well, it's not completely because the titles for the numbered cards are not exactly the same as the original Toth titles. So there's the box. So I'm going to start by showing 
some of the major cards and as I said here is the back of the cards and the card stock is quite good it's got a slightly um, it's like a semi matte finish it's only a really slight shine on the cards so this is the fool card these have got Roman numerals but the words are on the cards the titles are on the cards this is the only card because it is separate being zero in the um, chakra system that it uses this is light grey and this is the white flower to represent the fool so that's the fool card here is the magician and being the first card this is a violet colour for the crown chakra. You have the violet colour here. So these are all the symbols for the magician. So you have the wand, sword, chalice or cup, the pentacle, and you have the infinity symbol at the top here. Now because this is the second card, the High Priestess, this is an indigo colour. For the Third Eye Chakra, the High Priestess. So you have the moon, the crescent moon, the cross of matter. This is the equal armed cross of matter. This is not the same as the Christian cross because that's not an equal armed cross. This is the cross of matter. And the pillars of the temple here. That's the High Priestess card. I really love the simplicity. I've always wanted a deck like this that strips it all the way back to symbols. Here is the Empress. This has a bit of bit of green here. But it's actually blue for the throat chakra. It's the third card. Empress with the meanings in the little white book the chakras aren't mentioned they're only mentioned for the chakra spread but anyone who knows the seven rainbow colors associated with the chakras will be able to follow so here you have the Empress crown and the symbol of Venus here for the Empress. Here is the Hierophant, which is representing the solar plexus chakra. It's yellow. And here is the keys, the crossed keys and the triple armed triple armed cross and the triple armed cross is the symbol to represent the three worlds so you have like the, the underworld the earth in the middle and the top one being the heavens Hierophant. Here's the lovers. You have
have the Serpent of Wisdom and you have the Flame here. So you have the Serpent of Wisdom for the Tree of Knowledge and you have the Flame here for the Tree of Life. It's the Lover's Card. That's representing the sacral chakra. That's why it's orange. Now you have the chariot, and this is representing the root chakra, which is why it's red. So you have the wheel and the winged sun disk. So this is the chariot. Of course it's the number seven card. It's got the red colour for the root chakra. And then after number seven, the number eight card starts the colours all over again from the violet colour for the crown chakra all the way down for the next seven cards all the way down to the red for the root chakra again. So this is the chariot. So now you have the hermit. And this is the third eye chakra, which is why it's the indigo, indigo, indigo colour at the top. So this is card number nine. The lantern of the hermit. Then you have the blue here for the Wheel of Fortune, blue for the Throat Chakra. Wheel of Fortune. Here is card number 15 which is the devil. So it has the, the pentagram pointing downward to represent materialism. And you have chains here for the devil. Tower. The star. Sun. Judgment. And you have the trumpet for the wake up call. And then you have the world card with the laurel, laurel wreath for 
fig tree and you've got the two wands crossed here looking like the cross of matter again which is very appropriate actually because the world card is ruled by the planet Saturn ruling the sign of Capricorn so that's a very earthly energy and if anyone is just noticing again if you have a look at the cards for judgment the last um, three cards 19 20 and 21 you're getting into the solar plexus the colors are, are, are completing the solar plexus in the sacral chakra and then the root chakra where you finish with the world card now for the suits so all of the aces start with the indigo excuse me the violet color the violet color because they're starting from the crown chakra so all of the aces are the the violet color all of the aces are violet so here is the ace of wands which is the violet violet color ace of wands So you have the A for the ace at the top and you have the card title at the bottom. Ace of Wands. Six of Wands. And the colours are just going to repeat again as I was saying before through the minor arcana, the whole 14 of the cards. The ten numbered cards and the four court cards. So six of Wands, so you still have the Roman numeral at the top but you have the title at the bottom of the card. Six of Wands and the King of Wands, so all of the Kings are red for the root chakra and with the Kings they have a large K for King on here and you have a smaller K for Knight. So this is the King of Wands. Now for Cups. Again, Ace of Cups, which is the violet colour. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. And it goes into Indigo because it's the second card. Two of Cups. And here is a Knight. Knight of Cups. So this is representing the solar plexus chakra, which is why it's yellow. And there's a small K for Knight on the card. Knight of Cups. And all of the Knights have a shield. So that's also a good way of remembering that it is a Knight. Knight of Cups. Now for swords, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. So this is a solar plexus card again, Five of Swords, because it's yellow, and it is, it is a fifth card. Five of 
lot of soaps and the Knight of Swords. So you've got the solar plexus repeating for the second time. Knight of Swords. Now for Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. So this is representing the heart chakra. It's card number four. Four of Pentacles. It's green for the heart chakra. Four of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. So the page is also green for the heart chakra. the page on the card and it's got the titles here anyway page of pentacles so there's some of the cards of the essential tarot by Pablo Mont I really like this deck I think it's a really versatile deck it can be used for chakra readings I'm going to be using it for Kabbalah and I've always wanted a deck that was stripped that is stripped back to symbols. In the little white book it's actually mentioned that it could be a beginner's deck. I think it could be a beginner's deck to learn the main symbolism for the cards not for learning tarot reading but to learn the symbols of the cards, yes, I think it would be a good beginner's deck in that way. So I really like this deck. Essential Tarot by Pablo Mont. I'll put the details below the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.